Now, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, says illicit drug trade remains a huge challenge in Kano as over 2,000 kilograms of narcotics, cannabis, and psychotropic substances were seized in the state between January and June this year. In an exclusive interview with Trust TV, the commander of narcotics at the NDLEA Kano Command, Abubakar Ahmad, says there is an alarming level of exposure to women to the dangers of drug abuse across the state. We went out, uh, I behold, uh, when, my, when my officers were coming back, uh, it is so disheartening. They came back with uh, 57 young people that they arrested in that spot, abusing different types of, uh, of drugs. Out of the 57, six were male and 51 were all young girls that were arrested. So uh, that's why I'm telling you that by, by the, from the, the first value of it, definitely you know that it is, it is so disturbing. Uh, you know why women, for example, most of them are involved. You know women, a small thing can push them into depression, uh, especially uh, issue of uh, maybe a polygamous lifestyle in their homes and what have you. Uh, it should be giving them uh, maybe uh, worries, sleepless nights and what have you. They do not sleep because of their emotions. Uh, the, the, the peddlers are watching. And these are the kind of opportunities that they want. They will come and tell you, you'll not be able to sleep. I have something that if I give you will make you sleep. That these are the areas where this water is uh, still trying to, to, to reach out to the, to the populace. One, to tell them that still all hope is not lost. Even if you have a drug-dependent person in your, in, in, your, in, your, in your home, there are places where he can seek for help. Then the other one, again, is trying to educate people. Those that do not touch it, let them know the danger so that they won't even go near it. Then the third one, again, is the other people from the other divide, those that are insisting on bringing this to the community. Let the community know how to report them so that uh, the law enforcement aspect of our work will work there and uh, ensure that uh, these kind of people are apprehended, investigated, and taken before the court so that they can be prosecuted and convicted. And then maybe we'll reduce that in our societies. That was Abubakar Idris Ahmad, the state commandant of the NDLEA in Kano, speaking to developments uh, regarding the fight against drug abuse and trafficking in Kano. Now, Nigerian communities have been warned to remain vigilant while buying prescription drugs and over-the-counter medications. The call also urges Nigerians to be cautious when patronizing fruit sellers, as some have been known to use calcium carbide to ripen fruits, which portends a health hazard to people's health. The Director General of the, National Drug Law, of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, Mojishola Ade, gave the warning at a one-day media sensitization program against the practice in northeast Nigeria held in Bochi. Trust TV's Adam Imam completes the story. Represented by Leonard Omog Pariola, Director of Chemical Evaluation and Research of the agency, the Navdag DG said the dangerous practice by is killing innocent members of the society. This, she said, justifies the need to collaborate with the media to create awareness for members of the public to be cautious and abstain from patronizing them. Nobody is advocating that we all must work together to make sure that we move this country forward. Because killing one another will not solve our problem. Trying to get money by selling fake products or by hopping drugs or by wrapping fruit with a cash or by or falsifying uh, date markets in product that is never going to help anybody. Other notable speakers assure that with constant direct engagement with many Nigerians, these nefarious activities will be minimized. The state coordinator of the agency urged Nigerians to speak out whenever they come across such dangerous people as part of their contribution against the practice. When they even see people doing that, uh, carrying out such nefarious activities, they should come to our office and report to our office here, the federal secretariat. You know, some of them will do it uh, the night, will not be there, ripen them, they have neighbors. 
So you know the activities they are carrying out and this illegal activity, the various activities concerning our mandate, and particularly these aspects of uh, no cooking and, uh, and, uh, and uh, ripening of fruits, but you cannot reach everywhere. The sensitization attracted stakeholders as well as the media from the northeast region as part of effort to stem the menace. Adam Imam, Trust TV News, Bauchi.